I moved here from the Redwoods up in Northern California and my life kind of fell apart up there uh, during COVID. Major pillars of my life fell through, went through a major breakup, lost my housing, lost my job, had a very close friend passed away and just all of my, my life just crumbled. Went into meditation and was doing some deep soul contemplation and I kept getting visions of the landscape of northern New Mexico, of Santa Fe, and, and of Taos. So my name is Michael Francis Lott, and I am an artist, I am a professional intuitive, I am a writer, and I am also a musician. I just followed those visions without any kind of plan. I just packed everything up in my car and came to Taos. It's just completely embraced me um, from the moment I got here. And actually, I landed in this very Earth ship the very first day that I landed in Taos. And I've been here for the past three years ever since. So what first inspired me to start painting my synesthesia, which is a neurological phenomena where my senses overlap and when I hear music or when I hear sound, I actually see a whole symposium of colors and patterns in my mind's eye. And so I started out just painting what I was seeing with the synesthesia and that was kind of the seed that grew into my style as it is now. About 10 years ago, I used to be a classical musician and I studied music very seriously, but music for me was actually more visual than it was audio because of the synesthesia. And so eventually the door kind of closed with music, but I, I still wanted to continue with this exploration of uh, synesthesia. So that's what inspired me to start painting. I would describe my artwork as sacred intuitive art, inspired by basically like sacred artwork from all around the world. The way that I paint is a mix between having a concept and an idea and a blueprint and then channeling what comes through in the moment. The symmetry and the geometry provides a certain container and a certain outline that I can kind of spontaneously channel ideas and stories and concepts into the different structures of geometry, very similar to hieroglyphs or something of that nature. That's why I call it sacred intuitive art um, because it really engages my intuitive faculties and I'm really responding to the energy of the moment. The sun, which I use repetitively as a motif in almost all of my pieces, is representative of God, of spirit, of source, and most of my work represents the processes that we kind of orbit around and, and evolve through with God or spirit or source being at the center of those processes. Really pointing to the union that we share with one another and with the totality of life.